Enhancement Shaman actually needs a redesign and this is the title of my video. Uh, I've been like playing a lot of Enhancement Shaman just in general since Shadowlands a lot but also previous expansions um, like in Mist of Pandaria, Cataclysm, Wrath of the Lich King, even TBC and Vanilla. And I feel like Enhancement Shaman has the opposite problem of the BM Hunter video I've made a few days ago. If you remember my BM Hunter video, I actually talked about we don't have enough buttons to deal damage, or at least you don't have a lot of variety or you don't have a lot of diversity in how you deal damage. So the damage is pretty predictable and you don't scale well because of the mastery and you actually need a lot of buffs to go back to that level of other specs, but in turn will make it more OP in, let's say, a good season for a BM Hunter. Enhancement Shaman has a different problem. The different problem is we have choices on the class tree and the spec tree, but it is very, very annoying to get a build going. Let me explain. I think the class tree is fine. You could change a few things here and there, but mostly it is fine. I think the spec tree has a lot of problems where you actually are shoved into the Lava Lash build or you are shoved into the Doom Wind build. And both builds, you have even a trip, like a third build where you could play with Doom Winds and even with uh, Deeply Rooted Elements or Ascendance into Torum's Invocation and then you have like a lot of mastery and you don't really care too much about Lava Lash, you have like still Ice Strike but you don't really care about Lava, Lava Lash. So you have like three builds going on and it will really depends on seasons. I think next season you will have no problem with your wave. If I'm not mistaken, uh, that is going to uh, improve uh, with your four set. So that will be gone, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I might be mistaken, but anyways, next season it will be different. But this is annoying because if you want to play Lava Lash build, you need one point. Three points here in total. A fourth one here. Five, six, seven, and eight points just to enable your Lava Lash build. It is a lot of points you have to spend to be able to play a certain build that you could have played in Shadowlands, pretty much. This is just a bit too out of hands. I think you could literally make it a one-pointer here. You could also make it a one-pointer here, and it would be fine. And if you don't want to do that, you could merge a lot of those talents. You could merge Ash and Cat Catalyst with Hot Hand together, or you could, uh, like... Uh, mix Lashing Flames with Ash and Catalyst or you could also make Lava Lash always function like with Molten Assault because this is literally just an improvement of Lava Lash like making it lower CD but also spread, spreading your Flame Shock it's pretty annoying to have to spend two points on like a really dumb talent if I may say because it making it AoE is a bit obvious but also the reduced CD if you're playing Lava Lash, you often go for Molten Assault. You don't have like anything else to take from there. So this is really a, a boring thing. And the same for Duwins. You have to put Wind Fury weapons, which is an enha enchantment that should be baseline, in my opinion, if you're going Enhancement Shaman. Um, then you have Forceful Winds, which is a boring talent, so to be honest. Which also have Unruly Winds, which is also a boring talent. Just adding a third attack on your Wind Fury weapon, which is not really hitting for a lot these days you have here wind fury totem which also should be baseline for enhancement shaman in my opinion then you have doom winds which is a cool talent it is a 1.5 minute cd on an eight second um duration which is easily kiteable or easily stoppable with a stun or whatever a very annoying to deal with but you still have to point like use one two three four if you go for wind fury totem and then five for doom winds and it's not even stopping there. You need to still take a lot of those talents like Storm Flurry. You still need Storm Blast. There are a few talents that you are like imperatively always going to take if you're playing like the Doom Winds build. I feel like Feral Spirits the same. You have like Elemental Spirits, which is cool. But again, I think they could make Feral Spirits just something interesting that is not purely about like the increases of damage but they could like add like effects from feral spirits for example a stun that would be actually very welcome for enhancement shaman or a incap or like a cc or a um, damage component or something like 
cool that let's say a far elemental or earth sh or earth elemental has for elemental shaman for example it feels like feral spirits are the boring version of uh, elementals from elemental shamans that is my opinion i stand by it i might like again have some people disagree on it and that's fine if you like feral spirits or how they are right now that's good for you but i feel like if you're playing if you played wrath of the lich king feral spirits were just way stronger and i understand it was a bit op but everything can be tuned and then primal primal the wave is just a cool talent but you kind of kind of have to enable it with like a lot of those talents on the left i feel like elemental assault is a very boring talent for a um like like nearly last talent that you can take on the enhancement shaman tree legacy of the frost which could be a bit higher in my opinion um i think ascendance be being a three minute cd is too long it should be a two minute cd uh, i think deeply rooted elements is a bit boring to play on, a, on an enhancement shaman if you're not going haste for example i think aesthetic accumulation and totem evocation they're split but to be honest it should be like regrouped together and you put another talent as the key like the last um the, the last talent on the tree so that's that's my main takeaway on the talent tree for enhancement shaman and i understand why they do that because in in mythic plus or in raiding i think enhancement shaman is actually doing very well and they are playing a build that is very nervous and very welcome i guess uh, from what, what i understand a lot of a lot of those pve enhancement shamans actually love the iteration of uh enhancement shaman i might be wrong but i've heard from a lot of like people i'm playing and they like enhancement shaman in pve but in pvp whenever they are going into pvp they feel like they have too many buttons to press and it is just not efficient enough like compared to other classes a uh, demon hunter can do eye beaming to assist break into a, a death's uh, sweep and it deals more damage or at least it is more efficient at dealing damage than let's say storm strike frost shock ice strike lava lash and then you have like your spenders like elemental blast or your lightning bolts or you have your healing uh, spenders like healing surge and you have multiple cds to to track like feral spirits if you're playing doomwinds it's doomwinds if you're playing with uh sundering of course you're going to play sundering you have also a cd there you have your totems that you have to place in depending on situations that you're facing in pvp you have your prom promo your wave which is a cool cd as well to use but still you have to track it you have multiple things that you have to track as an enhancement shaman and you still have a rotation from a pve standpoint onto a pvp standpoint Again, whenever I'm talking about BM Hunter, they need like one or two extra abilities that actually deal damage. Like for example, Kill Shot or Cobra Shot or even Stampede or Explosive Shot, which are all four like miserably damaging abilities for BM Hunters. Enhancement Shaman needs less. And by less, I mean, you, do we really need Ice Strike? Like for real, do we really need Ice Strike as a ability to press? And currently, you kind of like shoved into it because you have to press as many abilities to press as possible to have a lot of like value on your mastery, but also just in general, your generation of Maelstrom because it got nerfed multiple times over the years. And now you have to press multiple abilities to get 10 stacks or you have to be very lucky with, let's say, a proc and then you can get the ball rolling. Uh, but still, you are very RNG, a very RNG spec. So it's very annoying to deal with. Um, so my suggestion would be to look at how we deal damage and make it, m making Storm Strike actually do something. Because the issue is what we have currently is um, Storm Strike has been buffed multiple times through the patches, but still deals like a miserable amount of damage. I did one Storm Strike, it only deal 44k damage. You, do you understand like ability, an ability as iconic as Storm Strike dealing less damage than Blood Thirst on Fury like on, as a Fury Warrior without the Blood Buff buff? It's really really annoying to 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 uh, explain, and uh, this should not be the case, right? It should be a lot higher. And yes, you have procs. Yes, I'm not really playing the Storm Strike build, so obviously I'm dealing a, a little bit less damage. Yes, I'm out of CDs. I could have had Feral, Feral Spirits, for example. Again, um, 
dual winds, wind fury, and etc. A lot of things are going to be adding more dimension to Storm Strike, but I feel like having Storm Strike as a base being interesting to press, dealing good damage, and just in general giving back the fantasy of Enhanced Shaman dealing damage with Storm Strike, which was always the case, and now it feels like Storm Strike is something you don't really want to press anymore, especially with the Lava Lash build, feels very, very tough. Uh, also, we have like a lot of emphasis on like big frost shocks, which is fine. I, I, it's fun to sometimes crit for 200k on a frost shock, but I feel like, am I playing enhancement shaman or am I playing an elemental shaman? Like, I'm, it seems like I'm dealing more damage from afar than from like close, and that's actually very, very weird. I would say if you play elemental shaman, you go on enhancement shaman. It feels like you're playing the same class, except you have to melee to get like those instant like those instant spells and again i feel like they could do way more uh yes i think if you are pressing all the abilities at once you can deal some pretty heavy damage and that's fine uh but <coughs> i feel like i feel like this is not the fantasy i'm like signing up for and i understand that some people might like that and that's fine again doing a level of 200k which is like on a dummy obviously but you can deal some good damage on a player. That's like I think the damage itself is not the problem of an enhancement shaman. The problem of an enhancement shaman is the survivability, the button bloat, which again confuses a lot of new players, but also just veteran players. I feel like if you're playing enhancement shaman, you kind of have to main it um, because again you have to build a lot of muscle memory on it and also know your um, your limit testing. I would say. And this is making like a whole bunch of mixage of a bad design for spec. I would say the spec is probably a bad design in PvP. I guess in PvE it's a bit less because again, you don't really need uh, like defenses, I think. Um, because you don't have dampening to worry about. So you have a lot of healing surge, healing, which again, I understand. It's maybe like a bit stronger in PvE. But in PvP, we do get like ruined because of that. And not only that, we also have a problem with haste and mastery both being like interesting uh, stats to track, but haste being way worse right now because of how they wanted Enhancement Shaman to be shapen. Um, again, I'm okay having Elemental Blast to deal good damage. I'm okay Lightning Bolt to, to deal also good damage. I'm simply not okay that Wind Fury is just an afterthought. We have come to the conclusion to just not pick Wind Fury anymore. What we do is actually swap those two weapons and get two Flame Tongues. That's the build. We don't take Wind Fury weapon as an Enhanced Shaman. Have we gone backwards with time? And that's how I feel like whatever I'm playing Enhanced Shaman. They took away so many good things from our class and spec. And they gave us like bootleg versions of elemental shaman <coughs> which <coughs> doesn't make sense as an enhancement shaman i also feel again my opinion that enhancement shaman should be able to be played as with a two-hander give me the fantasy back i don't care if it's like five percent worse than dual wield give me the option to be able to have a two-hander play wind fury have good procs and good damage and i would be very happy about it because that again that's what made me love enhancement shaman in the past like even in tbc whenever you could dual wield i would still play with a two-hander because i wanted to do some big crits a la unbreakable on youtube and yes again he blew noobs on YouTube with a montage, and that's fine. I love that. I still loved those videos. I still love those videos with good music. But the thing is, right now, we don't have the possibility anymore. Again, I think in arenas, we lack a few things. Again, Astra Shift should be able to be pressed while stunned, especially for Enhancement Shaman. I understand for Elemental Shaman, maybe because they have a shield and they're a bit more sturdy. But as an Enhancement Shaman, I feel like just that change could do a lot for that spec. I also feel like they need something extra. Uh, but I know it's a hybrid, but I think they need something extra like Unholy DKs has with Necrotic Wounds. I think Enhancement Shaman should have something as well to help um, healing to be reduced. 
so you could actually play Enhancement Shaman in twos. Right now in twos, Enhancement Shaman feels a bit bad because of dampening, because of not having a Mortal Wounds effect. But the same, they don't have like anything that can actually absorb or reduce healing from the enemy. And I feel like that could be like something that you, they could add. I think also Enhancement Shaman is like designed very well on the PvP talents because you have like literally every single PvP talent being usable in PvP and very good as well. Ride the Lightning deals some more like a lot of damage as well, but it's like a bit greedy to play right now. Shamanism gives you a haste, which is a PI on a one minute CD, which is very strong. You have Sky Fury Totem, which is also very strong. Counter Strike Totem, Unleash Shield, Season Winds, Static Field Totem, even Traveling Storms in BGs is usable. I think Stormweaver is a bit weird to use. I like to, to play it sometimes, but I feel like it's a bit weird to play. But again, it's an interesting PvP talent. I think our issue is also we don't have a fourth PvP talent. And I think a lot of specs have that, but I think Enhancement Shaman has the, it the most. Because it feels like every single situation you could take four or five PvP talents and it would legit be like uh, spec changing. But you have only three talents, which again makes it very annoying to navigate those matchups. Again, I understand every single spec has that problem, but I feel like Enhancement Shaman has probably the worst out of all the specs. Um, the good thing is you have choices to make on PvP talents. The good thing is you have choices that you can make on the spec tree, which is very good. That's something that BM Hunters doesn't have, like literally a left side and a right side being playable in PvP. But actually, with balancing and with numbers, Enhancement Shaman doesn't have the, the, the possibility to play those like builds. And it's not like... It's straight numbers bad, it is just not useful in PvP to have a 1.5 minute CD that is easily stoppable. Especially in 2s or in 3s where people are more alert and they could like voice, they say, look, the doings, we have to stun and then they stun you for 5 seconds and then they have to, to blind you or whatever, incap you for 4 seconds and there it goes. You have no more doings, your opening is gone. So the only build that you can actually play like competitively is the Lava Lash, like Elementalist Enhancement Shaman build where you have a lot of mastery, you try to deal a lot of damage with your Elemental damage, so you have Elemental Blast, Lightning Bolt, uh, you have your uh, Ice Strike, your Ice Lands, uh, your, um, your uh, Lava Lash and your Frost Strike dealing a lot of damage, your Storm Strike deals no damage, it's literally, literally there for Maelstrom, that's all, and if you have nothing else to press which often you still have something to press because your enhancement shown. Uh, you have your uh, lightning last, so you still have your promo, your wave, you have multiple abilities you can press, but it feels like you're shoved into that playstyle because they nerfed, over nerfed Doomwins, they over nerfed a lot of like good things you had from the previous builds that are just not usable in PvP anymore. So, that was my talk about enhancement shaman. Uh, I could talk like hours about that spec. Uh, I really, really love Shaman in general. I think Elemental Shaman kind of also deserves a video like this. I'll try to make more videos about this. Um, I'll be making more builds videos very soon in the future, but I think with Season 3 being ending very soon, I don't know if they're going to do balancing or not. I don't know if they're going to rework something for the uh, beginning of Season 4, like spec-wise, spec but I'm looking forward to and hopefully I can talk a bit more uh, in depth about the specs that I'm playing and the specs I'm excited about. Right now, it's a bit more of a negative video, but I try to also find like the specs, or at least I will be making videos about the specs I'm very excited about and where I feel like the design is like nailed. Uh, because there are specs that has that, like there are specs that are very, very good and they are like, they, they do deserve to be talked about because those designs should be replicated on other specs but anyways thank you for watching this video really appreciate you be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet it helps me a ton but also in general if you cannot uh, miss a video of mine it will be through the subscription boxes anyways thank you for watching have a great day bye